Lift Wild channel here. Just want to do a skills challenge for the February Apocalypse box. You can hear the crows in the background. Creek Stewart puts this together. He sh shows a little video on uh, on how to do this. So I'm going to try to do the same thing he did with the stuff that came in the Apocalypse box. And it is a guitar pick. So I have some YouTube friends out there that are pickers. Uh, they like to pick that pick that string. Um, D.O.L. Hoyt, Kentucky Guttons and Fun, uh, Wolverine Prepper, uh, and by Timberwookie, and uh, Brock Hughes channel. Um, these guys always have a fire starter with them, and they probably did not know it. So nice, easy to put in your wallet. You'll have a little bit of a, a fire starter for you. Pretty simple. So this should be on your little uh, survival gear or in your alt Altoids tin, um, this will help you out. So let's check, let's try it. Okay, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece of wood, a knife, your Apocalypse box guitar picks. Guitar picks are made of celluloid. Um, they're highly flammable. I never knew that. My dad played the guitar, my sister, a lot of family members played, and I didn't know these things were, uh, flammable. Then you'll need your Ferrisium rod that came with your kit or one of the other ones. You're gonna carve a divot right in the end of this stick. I'll probably use the wider end. And then you want to carve a notch in here for your pick and then another notch for your Ferrisium rod to go. And it should look similar to this and your as you can see, I've done this a couple times. And your ferrocium rod will go right there. And all your shavings from your guitar pick will go in that little divot in there. And there's a little notch I cut for the guitar pick. Then you'll use some of your packing material comes in your epoch box for your tinder bundle. I'm going to carve another one and then show you how it lights up. And I also did this video with Pickers. I'll put a little uh, link to his video. Him and I did a video and it's been uploaded a week or so of that. And it's a pretty cool video. It shows some mistakes we did. That's why I'm out here doing this again by myself practicing. Yep. All right. Get that shaved and then I'm going to put a little notch in first. For your guitar pick to go into. I'm going to start cutting a little divot. Okay, I'll get back to you. Now, I'll put a little notch here for your ferrocene rod. You can use uh, wet wood if you want. That notch is coming pretty good. Just like so. Just so that ferrocene rod's got somewhere to where you can put a lot of downward pressure and get a good spark. And I'll finish making this notch. I'll show you. Not the prettiest little notch I'm doing, but it gives you an idea. You just want to contain them shavings from the guitar pick. Something like so. And then your guitar pick slides in like so and you can hold it. So I'm going to take guitar pick, start shaving.
make a bunch of shavings here. This takes a little time, but the bigger the pile, the, the better it starts. Um, I've done this a couple times, I failed and found out I, I didn't give myself enough shavings. So I'll uh, show you how much you need. That should be enough shavings there. I'm going to try doing this over the video camera. I'm going to move it back a little bit. You want to get a good firm strike. Like so, let me do, let me turn this around. I dare and dumped a bunch. As you can see, it's pretty windy out here, but it does work. Look at that uh, piece of wood, how well that uh, pick just burned away. Right, there you go guys uh, practice makes perfect so like videos like this thumbs up like comment subscribe and uh, thanks for watching